Hi everyone, it's Tom Beck here, um, coming to you on my YouTube channel. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to kind of reach out to everybody and and do a little video uh, that shows uh, the misadventures of Einstein uh, through 2019. Uh, it was what I had actually done uh, for Inktober last year. Uh, this year I won't be doing uh, Jake Parker's list just because everything that was posted in uh, in December of 2019, kind of the whole fallout, uh, I, I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but I also kind of have a conflict of interest when it comes to supporting artists from the ground up. Like I really believe in that. And I think uh, when you start to get lawyers involved and start to talk about your own personal intellectual property of like branding things like like a word inktober and saying that that's your personal property I, I, I get a little I get a little offended uh, so I, I get it uh, I get that there are people out there that maliciously try to profit off other people I don't I don't agree with profiteers uh, but um, I do always want to support this the little guy uh, the little guy in what he wants to do and and like just uh kind of uh do the creativity so uh i will come to you right now uh this is inktober 2019 the misadventures of einstein uh einstein is the mascot of insanity print and publish uh insanity is my personal brand uh uh to where uh, the whole concept behind it be being someone that uh, enjoys illustration uh, I've always enjoyed illustration uh, I I have I have my little mascot here Einstein because I like to mess with your eyes and he is an eyeball and I draw pictures of him uh, messing around constantly I hide it in my illustrations all the time uh, but but definitely uh Einstein is is my own personal thing and then uh this right here is actually a uh, a uh, design that I have actually created that uh, is on on uh, my uh, my artist shop uh, there in Threadless, uh, and you can actually get it printed on different things. Uh, but you'll see Einstein again. He's hidden in the word uh, Stein, that's created in filigree. So he's the he's the the tittle of the eye uh in in the name stein so he's i in stein uh and that's why it says hidden meanings but this right that this right here is a print that is actually something that you could get printed on various things yes i even have a throw pillow with it on it so kind of cool so back to inktober 2019 uh that i did last year uh because it is october 1st 2020 uh and i want to kind of uh, go through the past misadventures of Einstein so we can uh, go on to uh, to see why he's actually going to be doing what he does uh, this year. Uh, so starting out, uh, the very first prompt was ring. And, uh, and I just messed around uh, to where I had I felon, the word felon, to the number two, a burning ring of fire. <laughs> And, and the, the whole reason behind that was I always like to uh, do a lot of double entendre uh, things. Like I said before, I like to create illusion. Uh, the, the person I enjoy the most is MC Escher, uh, Moritz uh, uh, Cornelius Escher, uh, amazing illustrator, amazing printmaker. Like he just did a lot of crazy things. Uh, but day one prompt was ring. And that's, uh, that's what I did for ring itself. Of course, Einstein's in there. And the, when I did the first one, uh, I was using a lot of ink and stuff like that. And then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to go and go into my graphite illustration like I, I, I normally do. So day two was mindless. Mindless as in the word mindless, but I took a twist on it. And of course, uh, Einstein here, mind less stuff. That's why the scales are tipping up. And he didn't mind that much. He mined... Uh, less brains, so he in fact is mindless. <laughs> day three, uh, day three was bait. Uh, 
here again Einstein is uh, is being suspended above uh, the water and he's dripping ink to all the pencils that are trying to uh, eat the ink uh, and he's using it as bait uh, toward all your pencils that are ink uh, and it's kind of a, a play on 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 the fact that I myself as an illustrator I, l I can draw in both ink and pencil uh, I have preferences for for different things but as an industrial designer uh, I use ink a lot because uh, it just uh, it carries a lot more line weight uh, when you actually create a lot more contrast like chiaroscuro so day four day four was freeze but of course again I played with it and instead of freeze I uh, I did plural free so not freeze saying support support your local artist support to the art uh, and again uh, throw a lot of eyeballs in there Einstein is, is seen multiple times uh, but he's giving you the thumbs up uh, definitely you need to support uh, your local artist day five day five looking at this page you would uh, you would not be able to figure out what the actual uh, uh, where it is, uh, but it was actually build and build. I even played uh, on the the homonym of build, as in like having a bill on your face, so your build. So Einstein is build uh, instead of the the actual build. But then using Einstein as an O, I put I put him to uh, say the word out, and I was creating the word outbreak here but then I even did a twist to where it's actually build you up a breakdown can be constructive criticism uh, and there's also more little hidden things in there too uh, once again I just kind of enjoy doing crazy stuff like that day six day six was husky but instead of doing something husky, I broke it into the word Hugh Sky. So he's looking, Einstein's looking at the sky, and it's actually a rainbow or basically a gradient coming down because uh, it's different hues. So it's a Hugh Sky. I'll start to speed up a little bit and go through these. Day seven. Day seven was Enchanted. Enchanted was. Einstein actually with a group of his eyeball buddies uh, they're all chanting the word Ted uh, being uh, somebody that comes from uh, a professionally educated design background uh, one big thing that we love to do is actually uh, watch a lot of TED talks uh, I actually got an opportunity to go to uh, one of the TED talks that was uh, hosted here in Seattle really actually enjoyed it uh, but it's definitely something that you should look up if you ever get a chance but enchant Ted uh, so they all chanting Ted together what do we want we want some Ted again uh, day 8 would definitely throw you for a loop uh, because day 8 right here this is actually frail and you don't see any weakness on the page uh, uh, what I did is broke down the word to where it's FREL uh, so the uh, Einstein is actually taking his locomotive uh, and going down the FREL <sighs> day nine uh, day nine was swing or sw uh, yeah, just the word swing, uh, but I went really crazy with it uh, and did S wings, swings, like, uh, and just kind of had fun with it. Uh, but uh, but in swinging back and forth, I thought of a yo-yo, so I put life is yo-yo. You know, just definitely went just crazy with it. Had 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 Einstein holding a bat that he could swing so on and so forth day 10 day 10 uh, is actually a sequence of things that are all the same uh, but if you look at what Einstein's doing here 
he's patting himself and then here uh, it's indicating a turn he's on a spring and he's turned so it's a pattern 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 day 11 day 11 uh, again you might be able to figure it out was snow <laughs> uh, and then uh, I was just kidding around with it to where I broke down the word again uh, and was doing s then s now <laughs> because it's a s and now uh, it's snow uh, but changing in the seasons is kind of what I went with uh, to to kind of depict what uh, what Einstein was dealing with there the changing in the seasons So, uh, day 12, uh, day 12 is dragon, uh, as in the mythical creature dragon, uh, but instead of doing that mythical creature, uh, I kind of alluded to that mythical creature with the veins that are coming from Einstein being kind of like, uh, spiky and thorny. Uh, but what he's more importantly doing is he's dragging his pencil or dragon to uh to never stop the grind so <laughs> he's basically uh he's basically trying to fight uh dragging himself around uh, so he can never stop the grind uh, i think we're on day 13 yes day 13 uh day 13 was actually ash uh but being somebody that is an artist uh and and at the age that i'm at uh, i actually grew up watching a lot of public television i really loved bob ross bob ross was amazing so i wanted to take the concept of ash being something uh in the world of art we uh we use charcoal uh we use a lot of charcoal uh, when it comes to uh kiro Skiro so uh i i uh, played with the fact that that einstein here is doing his bob ross impersonation and drawing a happy little tree that if we burn wood we actually turn into ash <laughs> day 14 overgrown uh kind of had fun with it just uh showed the veins of Einstein coming out to where they were actually plant like plant growth uh, doing a, uh, doing like a, uh, ivy vines and stuff like that uh, but it says uh, why can't you adult today because I'm overgrowing <laughs> uh, it says are you fed up let's chow down so yeah I like to play with double entendre a lot of crazy words and stuff like that day 15 day 15 was legend uh and then instead of that i uh i said it was the leg in so uh, einstein has a big toe right there and then the big toe is like his code name for his his tagging world so he's big toe the legend or the legend <laughs> uh, to where he's like a spray painter he's got his pencil he's doing a lot of tagging and a lot of creation day 16 is wild but instead of wild I put why old uh, and then talking about age going to experience uh, and then time equals money so it's important to keep on practicing one thing that we talk about as illustrators and artists all the time is continue to practice uh, because your time is money so continue to practice so you have that ability to actually uh, pump out some work and actually create uh, for people day 17 is ornament ornament uh, and then i just i played with the word itself to where I've Einstein sitting in a rowboat with his oar and then uh, and then he's feeding or baiting a mint uh, to uh, to this like piranha kind of fish
Next one is Misfit. Uh, I'm not sure what day we're, we're on. Day 18. So Misfit, we've got Einstein sitting there sticking a square peg in a round hole. Uh, we've, we've probably heard the cliche before. Uh, and it said, get in where you fit in. Uh, and he just made the round hole bigger so he could stick the square peg in it. So, day 19 was sling. Einstein here is slinging around uh, pencil lead and, and pen ink. And I'm basically saying spread your love, but also spreading my love or my passion is illustration. And that's why he's slinging the, the pencil graphite around and the, the, the pen ink, uh, because basically it's your weapons of mass illustration so you can actually create and create and create day 20 day 20 uh, is is tread uh, but what I ended up doing was T read or the book of T and you're reading it uh, my first name being Thomas uh, I was just kind of messing around with uh, kind of ideas and everything uh, and that's why I made this tomb with the tea. So uh, Einstein is offering the book of tea that you can read, so you can tea read. Uh, next one, uh, we got treasure. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, movie that I watched years and years ago that uh, a lot of people probably love is Good Old Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, and old Einstein is finding uh, finding a, a treasure chest, opening it up, and the magic is coming out. Or maybe it's Pandora's box. We don't know. Okay, and now we are on day 22. Day 22 was Ghost, but in this way I did the G-Host. Uh, I personally uh, enjoy uh, hip-hop, rap music. I've always loved it uh, and uh, in the old way the old G or the old gangsta uh, that's Einstein is dressed up as an old gangsta and he's hosting a radio show and then so I'm saying the spirit of sound uh, and then he's on the air <laughs> so so uh, uh, he's basically uh, part of that ancestry uh, giving down to uh, giving down to the next generations and everything. The G host. Next day is ancient. Uh, ancient, uh, I, I just kind of messed around with a lot of this to where uh, I made the word illuminate at top, but uh, cutting off uh, to where uh, it's ill. He's ill. Uh, and then, uh, and then I don't know if you've ever been to like tourist attractions and stuff like that. Uh, you, you get to stand behind the little uh, the little things and, and fill in the hole uh, with your head and stuff like that. Because Einstein is just a eyeball. Uh, I have him uh, being basically the all-seeing eye standing behind a, a little pyramid thing like that. Uh, and then... Uh, and then... Uh, you see the knot erase at the bottom instead of uh, like if you if you kind of read through it it's basically saying I'll not erase and because ancient we don't want to get rid of history we don't want to erase the past because we, we want to actually learn from our history and learn from our past <sighs> next one is dizzy uh, this one I just uh, I, I was kind of a uh, conflicted on what I wanted to do so I ended up breaking into DZ so uh, so um, Einstein is actually uh, carving out the Z or the last letter of the alphabet so he's spinning eyes toward the end uh, so so he's basically uh, he's, he's uh, creating a Creating the end uh, of, of, of things uh, by uh, carving out the Z. 
next one was tasty uh, this one is a lot more straightforward as well uh, but uh, kind of a kind of a twist on things too um, more uh, tied into my own personal background I'm kind of a foodie I love to actually uh, create uh, create twisted dishes and stuff like that but uh, but here I'm kind of a uh, I'm kind of showing um, another love I have as well which is street art uh, so I do a lot of crazy weird lettering uh, a lot of times they're hidden into things and uh, and so Einstein's got this pencil that also is part of a fork because he loves that tasty illustration. So the next one is dark. This one straightforward. Hitting the spot uh, but without the T K leaves you in the dark. Okay. So like I said that's pretty straightforward. Next one, this one's coat, uh, so like coat of paint. Uh, it asks you, when transparency is not of option, we want to add one more coat or plus one coat. Uh, so it just shows Einstein with a paintbrush and he's put more paint on it because you don't want to be able to see through it. But uh, I also kind of played on this because I am a person that believes in always being who you are on social media, on anything. Uh, it's very important to be transparent, uh, to to not try to sugarcoat things, not to try to hide things. Uh, and so, like, I always believe in actually being as transparent as possible. So, we are on day 28. Uh, this was day 28 of Inktober 2019. And it was ride, uh, and then this one just says ride or die. Uh, I actually turned uh, this like bicycle, <laughs> so he's got like his old G kind of a uh, uh, low rider bicycle, and it's all made out of like eyeballs. So he's basically keeping his eyes on the road, the eyes on the prize. He's trying to get to the end. So we ride or die. Day 29. Day 29 uh, was injured, uh, but instead of being injured, uh, I wanted to break down the word so I could actually uh, kind of talk about a point. And, uh, and as you might have noticed, a lot of these misadventures of Einstein, I'm driving home more of my own personal personality. Uh, one thing I always try to encourage with people is learn yourself know your way and actually promote who you are through your art and illustration i am not one that enjoys just drawing stuff to look cool i i put a lot of thought and 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 like a deep-rooted uh meaning into a lot of the things i draw which is a, a one reason why i love uh, mc escher uh and and just kind of hiding a lot of imagery into everything so this says inject your education uh, and uh, it says knowledge is power uh, so one thing that I, I really uh, I really enjoy doing is uh, is on the flip side of things I'm also an educator I, I do a lot of teaching uh, so so you'll see as the, the final comment of, of the, the year uh, in uh, in in this inktober i actually uh i actually promote my mantra too you'll see it here in a few pages uh this next page catch straightboard <laughs> uh pretty much um the things that uh that you want to capture in life uh you should always reach for them uh reach up and try to capture them uh to, to hold them close hold them dear uh much like a a fly ball so you can you can basically figure the way out and actually uh and actually uh catch those things in life uh day 30 was ripe again pretty straightforward ripe fruit plucking the apple from the tree uh um in the rooted meaning of 
that apple, uh, when you take it from the tree and you bite into it, you're going to open your mind to new things. Uh, Einstein here is taking the apple from the tree so he can actually uh, have understanding, uh, learn about things, but also you might notice the smell lines coming off him. It's kind of ripe <laughs> as well. <laughs> Oh, that was day 31. So, last but not least, uh, this wasn't a day. Uh, this is just something I constantly tell everybody uh, because I really believe in it. I talk about don't preach, just teach. And, and the intention behind it, uh, being an educator, uh, I constantly tell people this because, because in my personal view, uh, we have a lot of opinion that's rooted into things. And we don't want to... We don't want to influence people with our opinion. Uh, we want to give them facts. We want to disseminate facts to them uh, and then let them make their own choices. Be able to actually have a formulated thought process that they can actually make their own choices uh, because I believe in people having accountability for themselves. Uh, so uh, to me, it's very important for them to be able to formulate their own thoughts and actually make their own decisions because we make the constructs of what we believe is right or wrong uh, you shouldn't just sit there and believe whatever society tells you or what other people tell you I mean it's good to have people's opinions uh, told to you so you can possibly make decisions that you want to live with but the most important thing is you need to be able to agree with that person that you see looking back at you in the mirror so I always tell people, don't preach, just teach. Uh, so basically just pass on information that you've been given uh, and see what they actually do with it. So that was basically the, the close of, of the, uh, the last year. So now this year, uh, instead of actually doing uh, Jake Parker's um, Inktober, uh, don't have anything personally against Jake Palmer, I just, our, our or Jake Parker, I, I just, I just think uh, his intentions have changed now that he's become a popular uh, artist, uh, and I think, I think him bringing lawyers into the situation, uh, he is, he is looking to control what he believes is his own personal property, and I, and I don't agree with that. Uh, just, just a person, personal opinion. So, this year I am doing Cattober, Cattober 2020. Uh, so, Einstein's adventures are going to continue, but this time he's going to be wearing cat suits every day. So, this is day one of 2020, uh, and it was the witch cat. So, he is going to be a witch cat. Uh, and you see him kind of flying over a uh, creepy town with the graveyard. In his little witch suit, uh, his witch cat suit, uh, but it's still Einstein, the single big eyeball. And uh, here's a preview for tomorrow. Tomorrow is dessert cat, so Einstein has actually got his dessert cat's uh, suit on and get ready to eat some pie and ice cream. But there you have it. That is where I'm at so far. Uh, uh, be going on to day two of of this. Uh, of this Cattober uh, tomorrow. Uh, I want to really push forth that idea though uh, that what this is really all about is I personally enjoy encouraging other artists to do their thing uh, because the most important thing is for you all to have your own self-sufficiency and have your own accountability for whatever you do. So. As always, stay creative, stay well, love y'all, uh, and hope to see you on the flip side. Stay creative.